Hi there, my name is Rob Sutton. I've always been mechanically minded and have a passion for aviation, motorbikes and Land Rovers. Several years ago, I witnessed a power wheelchair bound man trapped on a busy road, unable to mount the curb for lack of a suitable cutout. It was then that I wondered why we can control a vehicle on Mars, yet we struggle to get a wheelchair up a simple curb. There had to be a better chair, and I set about designing one. After a little research, I concluded that the chair should be simple, lightweight, and have the ability to morph into different configurations depending upon the situation or environment it's operated in. A very compact, short wheelbase configuration would be best suited for indoor or confined spaces, and a longer wheelbase would offer greater stability from a lower center of gravity. Selectable four-wheel drive would give the user the added traction when required, and when not, no excess strain on the batteries would occur. And somehow, it needed to be able to step up a curb. The prototype of the chair in the upright mode has a wheelbase length of 450 millimeters, seat pan to floor height of 480 millimeters, and has a width of 600 millimeters. The overall length is just under a meter. The two rear drive wheels and two front casters sport independent suspension, and the footrests can be pivoted up together or individually. A standard joystick controller controls the chair. To change the configuration, a rocker switch controls a single actuator behind the seat. As the wheelbase extends, the middle set of drive wheels lower to the ground. They can be stopped just shy of the surface, keeping the chair in two-wheel drive mode, but with the added advantage of the longer wheelbase and the lower seat height. With the mid-wheels on the ground and the drive motors selected, the chair is now in four-wheel drive mode. The pivoting front caster wheel support arm automatically releases, allowing for full articulation of the caster wheels. This allows terrain following and optimum traction by keeping all six wheels in contact with the ground. Additionally, the seat reclines slightly and the leg rest lifts to give better terrain clearance. Having all four driving wheels on the ground, in effect, turns the chair into a skid steer vehicle, much like a bobcat, and employs a 70-30 rule of weight distribution to facilitate skid steering. This also allows for better slope traversing as the tendency for the chair to turn down the slope is greatly reduced. The extended wheelbase should make it virtually impossible for the chair to tip over either backwards or forwards. And if caterpillar tracks are used to replace the tires, you'd have a mini bulldozer, exceptionally good for snow or sand. Continued activation of the actuator reclines the seat a further 36 degrees and then provides 160 degrees of tilt in space. Great for resting, pressure sore relief, and personal care. As you can see, the front caster wheels and leg rests are lifted clear of the ground, and the user is perfectly balanced about the four main driving wheels. Simply reversing the actuator reverses the procedure. Another integral feature is forward seat pitch. The user is lifted to a semi-standing position which is a very useful aid in getting them into or out of the chair. As the seat pitches forward, the foot rests lower onto the ground, adding extra stability during the maneuver. A lap belt would be useful here. In the case of puncture or motor failure on the rear wheels, they can be lifted clear and switched off. Drive is now from the middle wheels only. It is a combination of all these integral features that when used together, gives this chair its unique ability to step up or down the curve.
I believe that there's great potential here for a truly revolutionary power wheelchair. With some refinements, automation, and continued development, I am positive that this wheelchair will offer many advantages and mobility over currently available chairs, and in turn, become a very competitive and successful product commercially. Thank you for watching.